Okay, praise the Lord. Um, we want to talk about taking up snakes today and uh, drinking deadly substance because it's not just talking about poisonous liquid. Jesus, when he said in Mark 16, uh, these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now, it wasn't just, uh, it didn't just mean drinking something deadly. He was talking, uh, he, was, he was referring to um, a deadly poisonous substance. And there are many examples in, since Jesus spoke those words of people not being affected when these things have happened. Especially, we, we read about Paul on the island of Malta when he was shipwrecked and um, a viper fastened itself to him, a poisonous snake, and his fangs went into his hand and injected the poison in. And um, the fact that I say that, it is a fact, it was a poisonous snake and the islanders knew it because they thought he was going to drop down dead after this, thought his hand would swell up and he'd drop down dead. And uh, because he didn't, they were going to make him into a god and worship him. But the fact is, it was Jesus' words coming to pass that uh, if anything like that uh, tried to harm you, it wouldn't harm you at all. And um, that's what happened to Paul. So that's a classic example of Jesus' words coming to pass. Now the Greek, uh, uh, take uh, they will take up serpents. The Greek means to take up. It can also mean remove, take away or cast away. And Paul shook it off his hand. He cast it away and it didn't do him any harm whatsoever. That's a tremendous testament, isn't it? Now when Jesus said believers will trample on serpents and scorpions, he was speaking about spiritual demonic enemies. Um, he classed the devil as that serpent of old. Now we saw the devil in the Garden of Eden in the snake and um, tempting Adam and Eve and also all the way through the scriptures that uh, it, it, it is, is to symbolized of demonic uh, powers and in the book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 2 like that old serpent the devil now I know because I've been into deliverance ministry sometimes when I'm casting out demons I have seen people slithering across the floor like a snake when you're trying to cast them out and it's the demon inside that person I remember a young woman I was delivering one day and she was slithering like a snake across the floor when I was trying to cast this demon out of her so these things that's why Jesus referred to them as uh, snakes. And he said, you've got power over all these things. But in this verse, Mark 16, it, it, um, it can be related to literal snakes in, a, in that literal sense. Um, now, I'm not talking about snake handling service as the practice in, that, uh, in Kentucky and Tennessee, where um, they use this scripture to support the literal practice of handling rattlesnakes and each year a few people die of poisonous snake bites because that's the the misinterpreting the scriptures and this this is a cult it's not in the scriptures that we should take up snakes poisonous snakes and they won't harm us if we know something's going to harm us and it's dangerous and we take up then it's going to bite us if we know that something's poisonous and we pick it up and we drink it or we eat something poisonous like poisonous mushrooms or something then it's going to harm us and even kill us so, I just want to read from something I have here. It's by an apostle called um, William Burton. He was apostle to the Belgian Congo in Africa many years ago and planted many churches and established them in sound doctrine. His ministry was confirmed with signs, wonders and miracles following us. The, the ministry of an apostle, uh, uh, the ministry of apostle is confirmed with signs, wonders and miracles following. But he's speaking about snakes here. Um, on another occasion, as I was doing a repair job, he's saying, in the workshop in Africa, a snake fell from the roof and coiled on my arm. I shook it off and killed it with a hammer. The wife of my head school teacher recently returned from the forest with a bundle of firewood on her head. She walked over a mile with it. Um, as she set it down, a deadly poisonous snake glided out. Similarly, on several occasions at our bonfire services, snakes have come out of the bundles that were thrown onto the flames. One afternoon, as we were returning, rejoicing in the Lord from a particularly good village meeting, and were following a narrow little footpath, the ejaculation from one of, one of my native companions caused me to look around, and there was a hooded cobra erect beside the path, its spoon-shaped head extended as it swayed ready to strike. I had walked right past it. 
I could give many more such experiences. There are deaths from snake bite every year in the villages around us, yet we believers in the Lord Jesus Christ walk the forest constantly under the protection of God with absolute immunity. And that's incredible because Jesus made that promise to us.